This was our home for last night. It is just about 6.30 a.m. We are getting on trail. Tup is actually already on trail a little bit before me. And we are trying to get in just under 13 miles today to get to Route 4 and go home for the evening and get cleaned up. We'll bring you some views hopefully today. We'll see. We were appreciative of shelter last night. There was two afternoon thunder showers. You probably showed one of them at least in the video. And it was good to have a dry place to stay. It's a beautiful morning so far. It's still humid, I guess. We're just going to be dealing with humidity for the whole trail by the feel. But nice morning walk through the woods. That's right, buddy. Walk off the trail. You don't want Bigfoot to step on you. We've reached Telephone Gap, but I don't see a phone booth or telephone anywhere nearby. Some blowdowns are tiny, and you just can kick them out of the way, a little branch like that. Whereas other blowdowns become a permanent part of the trail, but it makes a step. How convenient. Kind of a narrow path on trail here with pretty good drop off on the side. Thankfully it's Mostly free of obstacles. But definitely not a nice wide trail by any means. We just came over that low down there. Up oh, took her pack off because she had to crawl up over the tree. Uh, definitely a formidable blowdown, for sure. As, as you can see, that's no little, no little tree there. Had to get creative. There was no going under it, and mm -hmm. going over, over it was a challenge. And as you can see, it drops off, so going around it wasn't an option either. Need to watch your surroundings. That's a tree over the trail. There's the top of the tree broken off, supported by this other tree here. A lot of times I'll try to pull stuff down like that, but I don't want to take a chance of that falling on me and then also pushing me down the hill that direction. So, not going to try. Nice view of what I believe is Chittenden Reservoir down below. I think it's Lefferts Pond to the left of it. I've known to be wrong before. But either way, nice view. The hills beyond them. Hupto is just pointing out that this rock has a mohawk, which is the way the ferns are growing on the top of it. So we mentioned the term PUDS yesterday. That's definitely 
describes today pretty well. We got the beautiful view at Chittenden Reservoir, or of Chittenden Reservoir. But uh, other than that, lots of ups and downs. Some big toads that we've seen. Got a couple pictures that we put in there. Um, some deer tracks. But otherwise, a Swiss Army knife that Tup just found. But otherwise, it has been kind of uneventful. Tup said we came across this nice little pebble on the trail. I was thinking that's a nice boulder. Just finishing our lunch break at Ralston Rest Shelter. We've got five miles to Route 4 and we're going to get picked up and go home and clean up for the night. And this is one of the two water sources right at Ralston Rest Shelter. There's one just to the north of it and one just to the south of it. So the trail conditions south of Ralston Rest Shelter have been very pleasant, kind of cruisy, which we like. I mean, there's always rocks, there's always roots, but makes for a little bit quicker hiking. So Tuft is standing on a wood disc that we Doesn't put. Make a lot of sense right at the moment, but it was, was placed. <laughs> in 2019 on our section hike. It was very muddy there, and we dropped it into the mud. It might have splashed Tup in the face, full of mud. I think I look like that afterwards. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> yep. If I can find the picture, maybe I'll try and insert it in the video. So we've noticed the further south that we get, these little areas that look like they should have water that you could scoop up for drinking water are dry. So I've heard it's been a lot drier in the north, or the south, excuse me, than the north. Today's tip is from Tupt. If you see something along the trail that looks like Cadbury eggs, don't eat them. It's moose dung. We have reached the main junction. The long trail continues north over that way. We are continuing south on the long trail and Appalachian Trail this way. That's where the old long trail is, but no longer is the trail anymore. And one day I'll be heading east to go north on the Appalachian Trail that leads towards New Hampshire. The hike down from Main Junction is a pleasant downhill. You stroll through the woods. And it's even more pleasant when you know you're getting picked up and going home to clean up. Probably grab some Five Guys burgers and fries on the way home. Because we've got to treat our son for picking us up. At least we can do right. So we are 
as you can probably hear in the background, just about down to Route 4. And it's kind of strange because you've been up in the mountains and, you know, like last night we heard fireworks, but other than that, you aren't hearing much of the sounds of the quote-unquote real world. And it's just a interesting transition from woods to back to civilization, I guess. And we are about to pop out onto Route 4. Well, we survived the road crossing and have completed Long Trail Division 6 and are now onto Long Trail Division 5. Hooray! So what do you do on a zero day when it's 90 plus degrees? You go for a walk. We went home last night, got things cleaned up. Now we're taking a walk over the Champlain Bridge. Gonna have lunch on the other side, hopefully in a shaded all spot. All the way to New York. Walking all the way to New York, yeah. <laughs> yep. So, doing something a little different. Maybe it'll end with creamies, we'll see. So, way in the distance, you can see the green up traversing. It's actually the section that we jumped over. Jumping back, hopefully in another week or so to finish up. But uh, looking from Lake Champlain up towards the mountains that we've been hiking or will be hiking. Pretty sure he's disappointed, or she is disappointed, that we didn't share any of our lunch. Walking away in disgust. So, this is the Fort Frederick Crown Point historic site. It was a nice, somewhat cooler place to have lunch because there was a little bit of a breeze and some shade. Looked straight out onto Lake Champlain. And now we're going back over the Champlain Bridge. Views from on top of the Champlain Bridge, looking towards New York. Up Lake Champlain. This is the end of day recap for day 12 and 13. Uh, day 12, we hiked from David Logan's shelter to Route 4. Our son Zach picked us up and brought us back home. Uh, we cleaned up and s did laundry and such. Took a zero for day 13. Uh, took a walk over the Champlain Bridge and just relaxed. Uh, Tupt made the decision to get off trail, uh, trying to finish trail and just 
15 more days was too much of a, she felt was like too much of a push for her and wanted me to have an opportunity to finish the through hike since I didn't get to finish it. The through hike I tried last year only went one day before I hurt myself. So, uh, she's going to support me and I'm going to continue with the through hike.